of the GSMC Fantasy Sports Podcast, and it should be a good one. It is never too early, like I said before the break, to rank your fantasy basketball players for the upcoming season. We obviously have a fantastic, enthralling finals ahead of us, but looking ahead to the 24-25 to season, it's never too early to do. And I'm really, really excited to present this list to you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Coming in at number 10 is one of those players who I still think is really underestimated in today's league for his talents, both offensively and defensively. One of the more well-rounded big men in this league, in DeMontis Sabonis. And I'm really not shocked to see him on this list. Some of you might be, but DeMontis Sabonis has been one of the premier uh big men in this league for quite some time kind of like a baby Jokic in my opinion because of the fact he's so efficient in every area one of the top assist leaders for big men in this league looking at his stats from last season 19.4 points per game 13.7 rebounds per game and if you're looking for someone who averages a ton of minutes he is perfect for that for you 35 minutes and 42 seconds average time on the floor but for a Sacramento Kings team that is looking to be one of the better offensive teams in the league, we saw it two years ago. Obviously, this year kind of regressed to the mean, but DeMontis Sabonis is one of the stars of the league. He deserves to be on this list, no matter what people might think. And I'm really excited to see him develop with this young Sacramento Kings team that's looking to be one of the better teams in the Western Conference. I think he could be a fantastic fantasy player for you next year. Coming in at number 9, we have a player that a lot of people are familiar with and when healthy, also is one of the best centers in the league. Anthony Davis, an incredible season last year for him. 41 points average, 20 rebounds, 5 assists, and 4 blocks in 41 minutes. AD, I think, is one of those fantasy players who a lot of people are kind of like skeptical of due to the fact that he's never truly had a fully healthy season in the league for the Lakers but the Lakers as a team are one of those teams that are looking to transition they still haven't found a new head coach there are a lot of question marks around them but should they choose a coach that wants to develop a guy like Anthony Davis then they will be enthralled to have him he is a huge piece for them and when he's healthy, this was obviously one of his better seasons because of the fact that he remained healthy for a long while. Look for him to be one of those guys who you're thinking, should I draft? And I think that ultimately you should and you won't regret it should he remain healthy because of the fact that the Lakers are a team in transition and he will be expected to be the face of that team. Coming in at number eight, a breakout fantasy player this year and a player who is going to be one of the better players in the league for years to come because of his efficiency and production. Tyrese Halliburton for the Indiana Pacers, such a well-rounded player. If you're looking for a player who plays at a premium position, is efficient, gets all his stats in all the right places, Tyrese Halliburton is your guy. 20 points last year, 11 assists, a steal. He is such an incredibly well-rounded player for someone so young. And for an Indiana Pacers team that's up and coming, look for him to be a huge point getter. Obviously, in the playoffs this year, you kind of saw him kind of get a little tired and labored. Can't always produce for the Indiana Pacers because of the fact that they really trust him as their star. But overall, he is one of those guys who is going to be a very efficient player player the off the Indiana Pacers offense often runs through him so he's going to see a lot of production so that is why I think this this is a well-deserved ranking for Tyrese Halliburton coming in at number seven one of the most scrutinized criticized fantasy basketball players and basketball players in real time in Jason Tatum I think that Jason Tatum is proving a lot of critics and pundits wrong both in real life and in fantasy this has been one of his better fantasy seasons in the postseason as well but also in the regular season he's good for 26.9 points this year 8.1 rebounds 4.9 assists 
and he still plays a high number of minutes. But when it comes down to the details, man, you can't rule out Jason Tatum ever in this league. He is a star of this league. He plays for a Boston Celtics team that is so well-rounded. He's so unselfish as a player. Some people think that hurts him a little because of the fact they want him to be the guy to be the face of the Celtics. But in fact, it actually really helps him fantasy-wise that the fact that he has this team that he relies upon so much to carry him over the line. Look for him to be one of the better fantasy players next year due to the fact that he is one of those guys who wants to be more efficient than be a star. And so Jason Tatum being on this list does not surprise me in the slightest. Coming in at number six, Giannis Antetokounmpo, probably one of the better fantasy players over the past five years. He kind of is one of those guys who, you know, has been up and down a little bit, had his injuries, but overall he still is one of the best players in the league. 30.4 points this year, 11.5 rebounds, 6.5 assists, 1.1 blocks. So overall, Giannis Antetokounmpo being here is no surprise. He's an efficient, productive player for the Milwaukee Bucks. They definitely want to keep him around for as long as possible. Obviously, he was up for the Supermax a couple years ago. But this is a Milwaukee Bucks team that really their championship window is closing. Maybe there's talks of Giannis moving out of Milwaukee in the future, but for now, he's going to be one of their biggest stars. And due to the fact that they always are able to find nice role players for him, I don't think his production is in any jeopardy of going down. Coming in at number five, actually the number one overall fantasy player for this season. We'll talk about that a little bit on the next episode. Joel Embiid, who proved that when he plays and is healthy, he is an MVP caliber star of this league. 34.7 points average this year, 1.7 blocks on the defensive end, 1.2 steals. One of the preeminent centers, dominant centers in this game, no matter how you slice it. People often complain about him. Now, he's a, like a, a dirty player. He's always complaining about fouls, but he has the stats to back it up. And I think that him being the number one overall fantasy player should prove to you guys that he is worth taking. And Joel Embiid is a guy that ultimately can challenge... Uh, the center-driven league and guys like Jokic and Sabonis and a guy who's number one overall on this list, hint, hint. Um, I just think that Joel Embiid being here makes a lot of sense, so look for him to be a high pick in your upcoming fantasy basketball drafts next year. Coming in number four, probably the best player in the world right now and a guy who has a huge chance to be number one come the end of the 25 season and even this season. Luka Doncic, what more can we say about him? He is a star. 33.9 points, 9.2 assists. I mean, 9.8 rebounds. So Luka, you should never be concerned about a player like Luka in fantasy. He is a first ballot player on your team first name on the team sheet in fantasy basketball if you get him because he definitely will be at a premium so Luka Doncic obviously has such great role players that he can rely upon he's part of a duo with Kyrie Irving where he doesn't necessarily have to worry about doing all everything by himself the fact that the Dallas Mavericks are more team centric right now should make him more a scary Look for his points to skyrocket. I think he could average close to 40 points next year. I know that's a little bit outlandish for a guy who is not necessarily a center or a big, big man. But magic happens when Luka Doncic plays basketball. And so I'm really excited to see what he does next year. Coming in at number three, a guy who's truly skyrocketed to be one of the premier players, point guards in this league. Shea Gildress Alexander, a young up-and-coming talent for a Thunder team that surprised a lot of people as the number one seed in the West this year. I think he's just going to be so efficient. He has such a young core that's really, really fantastic and intriguing. So look for him to be the face of the Oklahoma City Thunder for years to come. 30.1 points last year, 
5.5 rebounds as a point guard, 6.2 assists. So you can see the efficiency. You can see the levels that he's at right now, even though he's still very, very young. And the Thunder team is very young. Look for him to continue to develop. The sky's the limit for a guy like SGA. And I would entrust him as one of the number one point guards in fantasy next season. Coming in at number two, this guy is no surprise for being this high. Probably one of the best players in the league. Right now, I see him at number two because Luka may surmount him should he get his championship next year. But for now, Nikola Jokic is a guy who can be said to be one of the best players, if not the best player in the league. Quickly becoming one of the best centers of all time. You never have to worry about Jokic. I remember a couple of years ago, perhaps my sophomore year of high school, I was in a fantasy uh, basketball league with my friends, and I was telling them, hey guys, I really want to draft Nikola Jokic at number one, and they were all looking at me crazy, like, what are you thinking, Chris? You're wasting your number one pick on a player who can get a little bit later in the draft, and I'm saying, no, I truly think this guy is one of the best players in the league. He's going to be one of the best centers of all time, and I'm proving to be right my prediction a couple years down the line looks to be a stellar one Nikola Jokic man I'm just going to go over his stats and you guys just try and draft him next year 26.4 points per game 12.4 rebounds 11.4 assists at the center position such a pleasure to watch such an incredible athlete just always willing to adapt to the game. That's one thing I truly appreciate about a guy in Nikola Jokic. So, Nikola Jokic, man, I think he deserves to be number two on this list, if not number one. Because number one is really kind of a surprise to me. I can see it because of the fact he's a young player, number one overall pick couple uh, last year, this year actually. Um, I just think that Nikola Jokic, I'm really surprised he's snubbed. Even Luka Doncic can be a case for number one. But at number one, without further ado, is a player who can be number one. He just needs to continue to grow his game and progress in his team, Victor Wembanyama. I think that right now I wouldn't put Victor Wembanyama anywhere close to the top ten. I still think that on a Spurs team where you don't have players who are very talented, I think it's too much pressure for Victor Wembanyama to be expected to be kind of a number one player for a fantasy basketball team. But I can see maybe in a couple years, like five years or so, Victor Wembanyama could be a very nice fantasy player. And we're already seeing kind of uh, the foreshadowing of that coming in his stats. I think he has 21.4 points per game this year, 10.6 rebounds, 3.9 assists. You can see that should Victor Wimbanyama get the talent around and the core around him to be even more efficient, he could very well be a player who I would have no hesitation putting in a top 10 fantasy player list. But right now, it seems a little bit too high. You have guys like Jokic, Luka, Tatum behind him, Giannis even, and Bede who I think are just better at this point. But Victor Wimunyama at number one in five years' time, I would not be surprised. But right now, I kind of am. But that should just about do it for this segment of today's show. And that concludes today's show. I love talking to you guys about all these different topics, looking at IDP coming back. You have the Panthers win an incredible season to them. Congratulations to them. And obviously the fantasy basketball is always exciting to talk about. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of GSMC Fantasy Sports Podcast. As always, I do ask that you like, follow, and subscribe to the show. It is a huge support to the network. So it is highly appreciated. Leave a tip or donation at the link gsmc.cloud should you wish to. But... Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Chris Shepard. We should have another exciting episode tomorrow where we're talking a lot more about the Stanley Cup Finals, the NBA Finals. We have a lot to discuss. But thank you guys for tuning in to today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow where we'll be back and better than ever.